Breaking news in the trade war with China. We are now learning Beijing will raise tariffs on $75 billion of U.S. products. Joining us now, White House Trade Advisor Peter Navarro. Peter, thank you for coming on the program this morning. Obviously, the White House wants to put out a message responding to those tariffs. What is it? The um, president has done a remarkable job uh, having this country behind him on the China issue in the last two and a half years by educating the people about uh, China's acts of aggression, the intellectual property theft, the forced technology transfer, killing Americans with made in China fentanyl. What's remarkable to me is as China continues actions like today, it simply reinforces the tough stand that this president takes. Uh, from a market point of view, um, it's, it's, it's nothing in the sense that it was well signaled. I think what's really important today and tomorrow is first uh, today in Jackson Hole, if Jay Powell, the Federal Reserve, assures America that he has their back, uh, the market will finish up three or four hundred points. Um, if, for example, the European Central Bank um, follows through on its promise to lower interest rates mm -hmm. and engage in easing, that's great for America because a stronger Europe will mean more exports sold to Europe and more growth for America. There's some things at the G7 that are going to be really important. Got it. So two, um, two big things. I want to bring our audience along with you as we're watching the China's Dow. the third it, in, the, uh, we're four, in the list there we're 14 by a minutes, long shot. Yeah, gotcha. We're 14 minutes into trading. The Dow's off 91 points. Uh, so not a huge sell-off. Well, not it's a coming huge back. reaction it, to the news yeah, on the Chinese yeah, tariffs. But yeah. I do want to just point out and, and get some clarity on this because I understand that you learned of this this slap back from China this morning about the same time that we all did, although you, you were anticipating it. Is that fair? Sure. The, uh, the Chinese side had clearly signaled to us in, in multiple fora that they would retaliate in some way. Uh, the problem, Sandra, they have is um, we have a far more bullets in our gun than they do. I mean, they sell us close to $600 billion worth of exports, and ours is a little over 100. So, so what um, does that this, say about how far this, this battle, this trade war, if you want to call it that, how far it could go, Peter? Well, I don't call it a trade war. This is not uh, a trade war. A trade war is when two countries are fighting over lowering their tariffs. What we're fighting about with China is to have them stop stealing our intellectual property, taking our technology, dumping products into our markets, manipulating their currency, and having their state-owned enterprises run rampant around the world with massive subsidies. And that's completely fair. You're getting business. credit from it's both sides. You're getting it's credit fair. from both sides of the aisle so, for that. The Republicans, so, Democrats, they like the, the tough stance on China. Many separate. are saying that it is, it is time. But even the farmers who say we back the president on this push on China, they're talking about the pain that they are feeling. And in this, new, this announcement from China, Peter, it's an extra 5% on soybean imports to China. It's an extra 10% tax on, it's a 10% tax on the imports of, of U.S. pork. I mean, there is that so, short-term so, pain. You know, let me the, address that. Sure. Let me address that directly because the president has the backs of American farmers. Uh, they will not be hurt. Uh, we have a, a, a large uh, program to make farmers whole, and we're using uh, some of the money they were collecting the tariffs, and it goes right to the farm belt, uh, and that's all to the good. But uh, you know, the big picture here in terms of the macroeconomic effects is, you know, we've had tariffs in place for over a year. We know that China is bearing the burden of those tariffs by having to cut their prices, mm -hmm. cut the value of their currency. They're seeing their supply chain hemorrhage out of China, coming back here, going to Vietnam and other places. And, and we have seen absolutely no impact on consumers. And so the, you know, the people of this country, Capitol Hill, they're behind President Donald J. Trump Got with it. his tough stand on China. All right, and now he makes his way to France tonight. The G7 will be meeting. What's the president's message there? So uh, the message is simply that the Trump economy is based on a great model. It's tax cuts, deregulation, unleashing the energy sector, and having fair and reciprocal trade. And uh, the president uh, wants to show some leadership there in terms of moving Europe towards that paradigm. After all, the G7 was created to bring together the large economies to talk about yeah. how to grow. Now, some of the individual things that are going to happen, and I love watching this president interact with these world leaders because he has great chemistry and friendship. Bojo, Boris Johnson, 
Uh, it's going to be important by October 30th that we have a resolution of Brexit. That means uh, that we'll be able to uh, move swiftly towards trying to get a good trade deal with the U.K. The German economy is suffering. Uh, it would be interesting to hear what the Germans have to say I about agree. abandoning their, very their interesting. Anything, get a fiscal stimulus. Absolutely. So this, let I mean, me this fire is, off a couple things because sure. I only have about 30 seconds left. Will there be a tax cut before the election? Larry Kudlow seemed to hint at one. So uh, from the moment the first tax cut was done, uh, we've always envisioned a tax cut 2.0, uh, not as a Keynesian maneuver because we're worried about slowdowns or this, that, and the other thing, but simply to get the tax code right. The, the corporate tax, for example, is still higher uh, than, than we'd like. Um, so I, I, I don't know whether we'll have a tax cut before then. Uh, it would right. be very difficult fair with this be, Congress. It's fair to say it's being considered, though. It, uh, my point, Sandra, is that there's nothing new about that. We've always okay. thought about it 2.0, but um, it shouldn't be interpreted as any sign uh, that the, the economy is, is uh, struggling. We have a very strong economy. Here's why Jackson Hole is important. I've only got important. five seconds left. Finish five seconds. That, yeah. Fed chairman does the right thing. We grow at 3% instead of dragging us down to 2% like the Fed's doing. So let's get it done, Jay Powell. Have America's back and it'll all be good. All right, we will hear from him next hour. So we will see what message he puts out there. Peter Navarro, always great to have you on here. Come back Thank soon. You, Thank Sandra. you very much.